Well, there you have it, guys. Uh, roll pans on, and uh, I'm digging it. I love it. Uh, it took me a little while to uh, get used to it. It's a different look, but um, I really enjoy it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, tell me what you guys think, and uh, I'll go ahead and I'll cut to a video of me basically putting it on and explaining how it went on, kind of thoughts, frustrations, that kind of stuff. So Here's a video from underneath it. Roll pans right here on the front. You can see my plate shining through. Uh, Basically, it's literally just four mounting bolts, which uh, they did not supply hardware for, so I actually had to drill them, or I had to go to Wilco and uh, buy the bolts myself. It came with the license plate light and everything else, but no hardware. And I did have to drill the holes too, through uh, both the piece right here on the actual car, and then I drilled holes through the roll pan. There's two of them that they put there that were kinda, that you could tell they wanted you to put them through, but I didn't really like where they were. They were kinda close together. and. I want it to be a little tighter, so I got these. I plan to put two more. I want it to be kind of tight, but I mean, after putting it on, it's pretty firm, so I don't know. Might just leave it like that. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and get up close. I'll, put, I'll actually link a picture in the video to show it, but you actually have to cut your bolt or your frame from where you mounted your bumper. Um, I was careful cutting it. Obviously, you can see I still have the holes if I wanted to put a bumper back in. But you did have to trim it slightly. And then I'll go ahead and uh, I'll, I'll link a picture before I took the roll pan off. And then one of what it looks like kind of after the cut. You can kind of see. It's definitely been cut a little bit. Other side's cut as well. You can't really see. It was great. But. And then another concern with that is if you're going to be doing that. I'm assuming it's the same on the trucks. You need to cut enough because I already dented it. It was too close to the frame cut that I made and then must have bounced and hit it. So that's actually a rubbing mark from where the frame's at. So, but it's not too big. I can uh, knock it out. So. Okay guys, and then basically just a general overview to kind of wrap up the video. Uh, I think it looks great, and I'm sure most people will. Uh, obviously, originally, they were probably designed for trucks that are more geared towards racing. I dropped a lot of weight between the spare tire, the hitch receiver, and the uh, actual bumper itself. So, you know, race guys are always trying to shed weight somehow. Uh, but I think it actually looked uh, great. It should this The video should apply for all the Sierras and the Silverados, too. I mean, Yukon Tahoe's of this year, are all, they're all the same. I mean, I swap parts all the time. But uh, basically, I would say... It's, it's a good look. I like it. Um, if you're a guy who's worried about getting rear-ended, probably not the best idea for you. I mean, obviously, I have, like, no protection now. What you have from a bumper to stop people, it's not really... I mean, they'll hit the frame right now, like, right afterwards, but still, it's not going to be as much as if you had a bumper hitch receiver kind of thing. Uh, for $100, I think it looks good. Um, like I said, you have to go get your own hardware, which would be nice to know beforehand. I actually took my bumper off. And then was looking at it and realized, oh, I don't even have bolts, so I had to drive there without a license plate. But lucky didn't see any cops. But uh, and then um, I mean, other than that, it was kind of it's kind of goofy because I was by myself. I had to jack it up and try and balance it while I was trying to drill holes, which it'd be a lot easier if you had two guys. Someone could hold it while you drill. Um, but other than that, I mean, it went on easy. It fit good. Uh, it looks great. I still need to wire my actual license plate light. I'll flip over and show you. I just have my old one taped on there for now. Just to keep it, <laughs> just to pass by till I can get uh, the actual one wired in there. It's the hard wire, it doesn't plug in, you know, obviously. So I gotta do some work for that. But uh, I think actually it ended up looking great. I was kind of iffy on it, but uh, yeah. So tell me what you guys think and then thank you.